Welcome back to the Blang. Glad to have you here at my talk show where I will teach you how to cook booty jaggy or army stew in English. Before I start, I'm going to introduce you guys to the, all the ingredients that I will be using for today. All of these things on this side are all for flavoring and my vegetable. This is my kimchi. You can use any kimchi you guys want. This is just from H Mart as well. And also gochujang, hot, pa hot paper, hot paper, hot pepper paste. This is a must. You have to have that. Unless, if you guys don't like um, spicy food, just put just a little bit of it. And also just put a little bit of the kimchi. And just add more of the um, bouillon beef or beef stock or anything beef that you can find. You can use that for flavoring. Um, so that it's not too spicy but and also for flavoring as well I have nor cubes this is the beef one all Filipino represent and also cheese ramen it's not the ramen brand you can also get that if you like uh, feel free to use that I just like to use this brand because you guys see because it's, it has cheese in it so it adds into the flavor you guys will see that a lot of my ingredients has a lot of, has cheese in it four cheese cheddar cheese single cheese <laughs> just like me and we have pork belly and lastly we have hot dog with cheese in it so I got this from H Mart and in the Filipino section so I have this kind of tofu I don't know what you call this tofu I'm not sure the name of it I'm not really good with tofu names and this soft tofu the white one I love tofu so I gotta have that there onions so you can put as little or as as many as you like this is very important everybody if you want rich flavor in your jaggi, you need lots of onion in there so my vegetables I just have my gailan and lettuce honestly for vegetable, I think that you can just add whatever vegetable you like, whatever greens you like, as long as like, they're like leafy vegetables. And also, I forgot to show you guys, you guys will also need water for it to boil and for uh, for your soup base part. Let us start! The, the key to this is that you portion things out. First, I'm gonna put my onions. I'm just gonna scatter them all here. The next thing I'm gonna put is the hot dog next thing I'm gonna put is the spam so I just put the hot dog um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys a b-roll of what this looks like later on and so I'm just like using my hand to do this I mean I'm the only one eating this anyway because all my meat is done I'm just gonna go and wash my hands Ooh, here's the hot dog the next thing I'm gonna put into this is the tofu and I don't and you don't want to overcook that I was thinking my pot is gonna be big enough for all of these ingredients but it looks like it's not that big and then the next thing I'm gonna put is just the nor cubes I'm gonna put the whole thing and I'm also gonna scoop some bread paste just a little bit I don't really like to put too much of this in my in my soup Oh, the next thing I put is my kimchi. The kimchi in just for more flavor. I don't really have much kimchi left, just a little bit. I also need to put this in. So, I grab a lot on. Put a little bit in there and a little bit in here. I already cut my recipe in half, and there's still so much. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water. Because if you don't, it's going to burn and you won't have any soup. Usually, I like to put my vegetable last because they cook very easily anyway. So, I don't need to put, a, put it in there all at the same time. And I don't like soggy vegetable. I'm just ripping it all apart. Just like what he did to my heart. Oh, that rhymes! <laughs> I'm not broken have to kind of wait and let it simmer and boil all at once but as soon as it boils you put this in there so that it starts cooking I'm gonna add the cheese from the rice cake I forgot to say this is actually you guys this is not expensive this is 
depending on what you get and depending on how fancy you want to be you guys don't even really need to um, get meat like pork belly they're all in there all at once it's not even in evenly proportioned anymore because my pot or my pan is too small but that's what it looks like right now since this is already boiling i can actually already add my noodles in there i like to like soak it there you go and then you add the seasonings in there see there's so much flavor in here you don't even really need um if you're the type of person that doesn't want the spices in there i feel like you can get by by just putting the seasonings like and the cheese that you have last but not the least the cheese the cheese powder i'm gonna put just for now just one cheese because there's already so cheesy and then i'll just add more later if i need to but just i just put it on top of my noodles also add in my veggie even though there's like no more room <laughs> i'm going to try the sauce part of this actually let's see how it tastes oh my goodness guys wow that's good and i'm not just saying that just because i made it I know for those of you who are health conscious, this is like not the most healthiest thing in the world. It is not. Want to chill with friends and you just want to make um, make something quick and not too difficult and something cheap as well. This is your food, you guys. This is for sharing. It's not just for for yourself. Look at this. This is so much food already. Try to scoop out some stuff here. Spam, my favorite. The hot dogs. And then I can try a little bit of the noodles. I pull. And I'm also gonna add in my as a garnish. <laughs> this is my garnish right here. I am so hungry, Lord. Thank you for this food. Finally, I get to eat. Mm. Let's try this uh, banana flavored milk drink. It tastes like banana with milk. <laughs> By the way, I'm not trying to pull off a mukbang here. I'm not going to be able to finish all of that. Do I have any other vocabulary than so good? It's marvelous. Marvelous. <laughs> it's marvelous. It's wonderful. I hope you enjoyed my little cookbang cooking show and do give this recipe a try you guys it's so easy so good bye everybody thank you so much for watching my video and for subscribing to me my 81 subscriber thank you so 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 much and i i do hope that i get to upload another video after this and hopefully it's not something that is about eating because i eat way too much in this vlog i will see you guys again goodbye have a good one wherever you are good night good morning bye